Hello everyone, this is Etho, and we have another wonderful episode of Let's Play Minecraft today with me, Etho. Ooh, it's loud here. Uh, I'm chewing gum right now. I'm not sure if it'll pick up over the mic, but my throat usually gets sore doing these, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping I can chew gum without it being annoying. Uh, but we're going to be working on this again today. The hostile mob system. Um, so, no more tests for right now. We're going to just go ahead and start building. I guess we got the cows, so we may as well turn that down. I was told this spider separator that I wanted to make was done by Trinker Tank. And I found his video for it too, so I'll post it in the description, hopefully if I remember. Oops, dang it. But it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to build this up, um, three high. Three high is my, ah, oh, man. Just like that, and fill it in with water. It's going to be another building episode, I'm sorry. I don't know what you guys like, I try to do a mix of everything. Except for spelunking, oh yeah. I'm thinking about uh, making my world a little bit nicer soon. I've been doing a few odds and ends around the place, like getting rid of, uh, you know, over there, we, I had that big hole where I took out all the sand. There's still one there, but I got rid of one of the islands, so it looks like water now. And I've been cleaning up a few other things, too. Completely redoing the barn, I think. But let's, uh, let's work on this. Ah, <sighs> transporting water takes so long sometimes. I hate carrying more than two buckets. It just clogs up, uh, your inventory. So I think I'm gonna make it go... this way. So, I'm gonna build this up some more. Uh, too high. And there'll be a cover over it. And the water needs to flow. I can put these here, they won't flow over. And there will be a hole here. And then, yeah, so the tall mobs are going to fall down here, that's the way it works, and the spiders are going to keep going, I hope. Never made this spider separator. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to do a soil roof for right now. Temporarily. And... I wonder... Wait, did, oh, I did that wrong. Right. Yeah, just don't go there. Okay. Do that. Um, I could probably make this only one high after that point. So spiders will fit through there. Tall mobs will fall down here. And I'm going to put some signs just so that the water doesn't flow over. And from what I saw in Trinker Tank's video, this is absolutely clog-free. 
which is what I want, because that's actually pretty hard to do. Okay, let's get some more water. Uh, secret project progress. I've somewhat started it, but haven't done too much with it yet. Been kind of kind of busy lately. But I'll I'll get to it. Once I start, I know I'm gonna get lots done. Um gonna put that there. So the tall mobs will fall in a stream below. Spiders will swim up and drown. Somehow. How should we do that? Hmm. Well, we can cover this. Let's get some torches so we can see. And we'll extend this some more. Okay, that should be good. We'll fill this in. And we should have a hole for the items to fall down to. We need to root the items down where that water is and make them fall down there. And I know, I know how I'm going to do the record studio finally. It's been like 50 episodes, but I finally have like the perfect idea. Which I will hopefully get to soon. I'm going to bust that out. That's where the items will fall down and we'll have a sign... Feel like I forgot something. All right, I went and got some more glass, and I skipped today so that we can see a little bit better. It's kind of dark here still. Uh, so the way I'm going to do this actually is I'm going to put another water here so that it flows straight. There's something I want to try. Uh, I'm going to make this two blocks. Because otherwise it will make it'll be hard to get the streams to point right without adding more water. Um, yeah, so it'll be like... No, that's not what I want. That is not what I want. Okay. I want the signs over here. Like that. Okay, so the spiders will get pushed in. Then I want a stream over here. Pushing this way. Um, and I want a trap door. Oops. I'm going to put my trap door on there, hopefully. Oh, wait, no, that's too low. Okay, well, let's do the stream first, then. Stream will go across. Hmm. I should probably be doing this off camera. Oh, 
Yeah, if I do that, they can't swim up. Huh. I guess I'll have to use signs. Actually, I'm going to replace this with actual glass. And... So what we learned from our last video, if the water is, I think it was 5, level 5, they won't drown. That would be 8, 7, 6. We gotta go one more. I guess I'll run it here. Like this. And... Something like this. So the water will go here. And that will allow the spiders to swim up it. And then we'll place a sign. Hmm. It's a lot of work to making a mob system. Keep that in mind if you ever do. Lots of lots of little tedious work like this. Put the sign there and I suppose one over here. So now, ouch. Uh, just for now, I'm going to put dirt under here so I can jump up. So basically, I have a water block pushing to the right here that the spider should swim up without drowning. And then we can have trap door over here like that so they won't drown in this in this stream here and the streams pushing them this way so the hinge on this trap door shouldn't be in the way either hopefully okay so got that we can control that way we can control if we want the spiders to drown or if we want them to collect and why we would want them to collect I don't know but it's just something some little extra control we can have for no real purpose cause that's the way I roll okay okay I'm gonna Finish. Oops. Okay, we can cover this. We'll put some more signs. I'm so glad Notch added shift clicking. Okay, so. We need something for the water to s be suspended by, so we're going to put signs. And we'll have water. And we need w one over here. Okay. Make this go up some more. So I'm going to fill this in with water. And then they should drown. So, I'll be right back. Alright, I finished filling that in with solid water. Somehow I fell through this glass, too. I, like, stepped in the water and then fell through the glass. Kind of strange. This is all solid water. And... Oops. Ooh. Sorry, I hope you guys aren't getting sick. So there's three air pockets here and the uh, one stream pushing them to the right where that they won't drown in. Trap door holding them down if we want. If it's open, they'll swim up and drown. Hopefully. So we'll put cover on that. And I just did it again. And again. Yeah, that's weird. Right now I just have a lever hooked up to the trapdoor. 
but I'll probably hook up redstone and wire it down to the control room. Uh, yeah. So this should be ready for a test. So that's what I'm going to do. The Wait, how does this work? Tall mobs fall down here. String falls down here. Okay. So I'm going to get some spiders up here and see what happens. Here they come. Whoa. That was weird. Oh no, he's not swimming out. Oh, because I have the trap door down. Okay, that's exactly what we want. I better be careful. These guys are shooting through the glass. Okay. Shoot. Oh, dang. They hit a creeper. Whew. Okay, I'm going to let them collect and stand far, far, far away as that happens. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, there's a jam. The spiders, they climb up and then get stuck at the ceiling. So I need to put, instead of having the gap down there, I need it up there after all. So I might have to redo all this. Uh, let's try the release. It's good. Swims up. Should drown. Oh, major like the skeletons don't shoot if you put blocks in the corner. And let's see if the string falls down here. Oh shoot. I heard some skeleton shooting. Alright. Look how nicely they group together. So I'm going to fix that, and then we'll be back. Alright, so I made the changes. Uh, it's still not perfect. But it works. They kind of kind of get stuck here, but the mobs pushing them will cause them to eventually go. So, it's only if they're on their own like that. Like, he would probably get stuck there forever if un unless another mob came up behind him. Then he'd get pushed in. And, of course, he's doing that because there's tons of mobs there. Uh, uh, normally a stream would take them away. And I think I've reached the mob limit almost. Uh, so what I ended up doing, I had to raise it all up another block. And I added in... It's the same thing, I just raised it a block up. And I added in a few extra signs here. And that's it. So watch, these guys should push this spider into here. Or maybe not. There's just too many guys there, he's not, uh, he's not going. They keep knocking him back. But anyway, it does seem to work pretty good. Um, and this release works good. They drown there. So that might be useful, for example, let's say the mob limit was 100. 100 hostile mobs at a time. Uh, if I wanted spiders to collect, I would have this trap door down. And I would have these tall mobs being killed constantly. And over time, Oh. Oh, that's a problem. 
Strin landed on the trap door. Oh. Well, I guess I gotta get rid of this feature then, because that's gonna be a serious problem, and there's no way around that. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta get rid of that. I can get rid of it just by lowering it one level. So the next thing I need to do is I need to run a water stream to this hole here. And I'll probably have another trap door above. Right here. I got it working really good now, guys. I made two main changes to this. Uh, the really important change is I have half slabs there now. Oh, dang it. That was a close one. So the skeletons can see me through these corners here. I would need to put blocks here to keep that from happening. But yeah, I have half slabs there, so it's a block and a half opening. There's a water stream above, pushing the spiders to the left. And since it's a block and a half, tall mobs don't fit, but the spiders do. And yeah. And then this, um, I guess it's actually not a problem. Because if, if I want them drowning, it needs to be open like that. Uh, what I did is I removed the two source blocks here. So now there's a stream going to the right. So if any string was to land on the trap door, that little section there, the stream would pull it off anyway. So that is not a problem after all. Because the door won't be down like that, it'll be up. So yeah. I'm going to let this thing fill up, and then we'll see it. It's getting pretty full now. So since those are half slabs now, uh, if the spiders, for like before those were glass blocks, where the half slabs were, and when the spiders were forced against the glass blocks, it was like them being against the wall. But when, uh, when they're forced against the half slabs, it forces the spiders climb up them, uh, much like we walk up half slabs, and so they're forced up half a block, and then they are in the water stream above, so they're forced through it, kind of thing, um, so we got, I would say at least 10 in there, 10 spiders, Let's see it. That stream over there pushes them away from the hinge, so they all go up, no problem. And since uh, the water over here is level 7, they still drown, no problem. It's only if it's level 5 or less that they won't drown. And... All this string collects 100%, so it's 100% efficient. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. So, we just need the stream below. And then we'll have a trap door here. And that will be controlled uh, at the front of our collection area, I have those two levers. Uh, if this is closed, items can't fall down. If it's open, uh, they can. Pretty simple. So, I'm going to run a stream, and I'll be back. So, I wasted a ton of glass building this thing. But it works really well, it's all done now. All basically all done. Very happy with how this turned out. It's 
Fighters go up, they drown, none get stuck, there's no dead zones. They all drown. Items get collected 100%. And there's just a stream underneath there now that goes left, goes around this bend to this trap door here. See all the string down there? So it was. I gotta listen and make sure no creepers get shot. So it goes here. This trapdoor here will allow me to turn string on or off in my main collection area down below. So if I just want to collect, say, gunpowder, for example, I don't want string in the stream. I would have this closed. If I, if I want the string, I would have it open. And it would go down. This trap door is for turning on or off all hostile mob drops. So if I wanted just the passive ones on and the hostile ones off, I have that option. That's the idea behind these ones here. And that's all there is to it. So. Spider handling is done. So now I just need to do the tall mobs. And I still need to do the passive mobs. Redo them. Get that working better. It's weird. It's like there's two clusters here. There's the block over there and this one here. And anything else is just bouncing back and forth them, between them really quick. But the next thing I need, uh, I think I'm going to have a junction of some sort. Uh, one option will take them, the tall mobs, to a cookhouse, which is a way of killing uh, skeletons and zombies from sunlight. I call it a cookhouse. Uh, and the creepers will live. The other option for the junction is to go straight to a killing machine that kills all all three of them and sends the loot to our trapdoor there. That's the logic behind this. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I don't know if I'll... Uh, I'll do that next episode, but the next time I work on this, hopefully soon, I'll uh, I'll be doing that. But anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good night, or morning, or afternoon, or whatever it is for you.